All right. So let's go over uh, some numbers and calculations on how to make a perfect V block. So uh, here we have the picture of our, our blueprint, um, you know, the, the CAD, CAD image of it. And, and what I've added to this image is a, a half inch dowel pin here in the center of our V. Now, you can do all this trick by hand, and it's not that complicated. It takes a couple minutes, but it's really not that complicated because we, we know enough about this, this whole arrangement right here. I know that I have a, a 90 degree um, V, that's the included angle. Um, I know that my pin is 500 thousandths, so it has a quarter inch radius and a couple of triangles um, to solve. There's, there's the triangle here um, and then the, to find this length here, if I know this is a quarter inch on the hypotenuse and I know um, that it's coming off a 45 degree angle, so I know my corner angle, I can, I can do a pretty simple equation. I get my uh, point 0.1768. Um, and then a little bit more math, uh, and I can I can add that 0.1768 because it's on um, this side and that. Let me grab something else here. Okay, so I have a better I have a better pointer now. I know my 0.1768, which is the distance from here to here, is also the same as the distance from here to here. So from here to here and here to here. That'd be 0.1768 times two. And then I know that from here to here and here to here is a quarter and a quarter. So that's a half plus the number that we got when we added these two together. If I take those numbers, add them together, subtract them from the one and 750, divide that by two, and now I have this distance here, this uh, 0.4482. So um, you can do all this by hand sure is easy doing it in a CAD program. So that's why we're looking at this. Now, what I can easily do with a setup like this is I can calculate that a half inch pin would be 21 thousandths and four tenths below the top surface of the part when the V is perfect. That is if it's at a perfect 90 degree included angle and everything else is good. So let's take a look at this V and see where it is right now. All right, so I have a dowel pin here. It is marked 500. I'm gonna set it down in the V. Depth gauge, depth micrometer. It's looking like it's pretty much tuned in. We'll set it up here on top. So there's zero. 5, 10, 10. Looking for the shortest reading. Okay, so we're going to say that's only nine and a half thousandths um, below. This depth mic, it's got a, it's, it's got a, a domed contact point. So I had to go back and forth. So we're about nine and a half thousandths um, below the top surface. Um, 21 thousandths or 0 0.0214 was our uh, perfect number. So what do we do with this? Um, how, how much do we lower the wheel? It, you can't just guess at it. Well, I, I mean, I guess you could. Um, you could lower it a, a, a small amount and then make your cuts, take a reading, and then see what, what the change was and, and use some math and you can figure out um, what's going on. Uh, but this is confusing enough. So I have another little handout to look at. All right, so what this is saying, in this example, you can see that a 0.100 thousandths move on each side of a V resulted in a 0.141 movement of the gauge pin downward. So if I went out there and I hacked off a hundred thousandths off uh, each, 
off each surface of my uh, my V-block here, this dowel pin would, would drop down 141 thousandths, which would, that's what my, uh, my increased measurement would be on my depth mic. So, of course, we're not gonna go 100, 100 thousandths down. But um, if we look deep in, deeper into this, what we just discovered is 0.1 divided by uh, the 0.141 gave us a 0.7092, um, which means roughly um, you want to move 71% of your total desired distance of, of pin travel. Our number that we wanted to see on our final reading would be 0 0.0214, but our first mic, mic check was uh, 0 0.0095, so that's a difference of 11 thousandths and, and 9 tenths, so I want to go um, the roughly 71% of that, so if I multiply times my uh, point seven zero nine two. It equals. I need to cut point zero zero eight four off uh, each each face, and then that should give me my pin movement that'll land me pretty much right on the nose. So definitely gonna write that down. Let's go out there take that much off and then see where this lands. All right, so one thing I'm gonna do on this grinder is uh, I'm gonna go ahead. That's five thousandths. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight thousandths away from the, the zero. So I know, um, and it moved a little bit. But I know as I approach there that I've moved eight thousandths. I'll be tracking the, the small dial here and then I'll go my my additional four ten thousandths of an inch. So to start with, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna raise up a little bit and then touch back off just in case I've got the part back in the vise um, poorly. All right, so I went up about three thousandths. Now I'm a thousandths above where I was when I took it out. Now I'm a half a thousandths. And this is the exact height of where it was when I took it out of the grinder. And so I got light, um, a pretty light cut, but it was even all the way across. So that's good. That, that tells me that my part is indexing back into the V-block mm, pretty accurately, I'd say. So now we begin. Okay, so I got the part flipped around. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna raise raise up um, 11 thousandths from where I was, so I'll be at my 3 thousandths uh, above my last grinding on this surface. I might have went a little bit more. I kind of got lost, so I just cr I gave it a good crank. Better to go a little bit too far than not far enough. And I can see my, my daylight gap pretty big. That's getting close. I'm 
This is actually where it was the last time I ground on this pass here. And and that's a good sign. Um, it barely feathered sparks um, on that pass. So that's pretty good because that was the, the exact same spot that I left off the last time that part was in the vise like that. So now I'm going to grind away. Let's go measure this. All right, so here we are. Um, after the first side, I, I did mark the part, um, the first surface I, I ground. So that way when I took it out and cleaned it, I didn't load it in backwards. Um, you would know if you did that, but then that's just another setup that you have to redo. So here's our 500 pin. So here's the zero, we're down 20. Hopefully it stops. Hey, look at that. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's about 0 0.021 and a half. And I was looking for, let's see if this is on camera my 0 0.0214 so um you know take it with a grain of salt this isn't uh i haven't verified how uh how how accurate that that gauge pin is but i'm making it to that pin as though the pin is is perfect and you know i'm pretty happy with that so um do the same thing on the other side now right okay i don't yeah, so, you know, this this is a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy trying to make things nice like this. Um, I'm gonna make another short video where I'm gonna do a, a, a squareness comparator, um, comparative measurement. Um, and, and I already did it once be, before I filmed this. And more or less um, referencing either one of these uh, faces here we're seeing less than a half a thousandths of of, uh, of error. Um, so th this part's pretty square, and when I've mic'd it several locations, we're seeing, I'm seeing, I should say, uh, pretty much plus or minus a, a tenth from uh, our nominal sizes. Yeah, so this is a lot of fun. We're gonna, have a video of course for the uh the clamp part of it making the screw um that's that's really fun we get to do some rotary table um operations and they're always in pretty enjoyable so have a good day